Prestia, and Prestia. Trying to work off his man does, back to the point to Richie, fakes a shot. Prestia, back to Richie. Nice block there, rebound to Prestia. There's a chance for the Raiders to shoot, they score! Jonathan Hansen puts it through the five hole of Labora, and it's a power play, marker one, nothing Georgetown. What a great play by McVeigh to slip that puck out. They saw control by the buzzers. It's picked up by Trumbla. Trumbla coming in, gets the pass. Oh, cool to be careful there. They score, he didn't have it covered up, and St. Mike's oh. bangs it in. He thought he had it, but he didn't. And well, the buzzer's he tied at one. Casual. He looked very casual on that play. It wasn't a difficult shot. Up ahead for Jonathan Hampton. Hampton will skate. He has an open wing now. Here's Hampton. Takes the first shot. Makes a nice move. Gets tripped up. Puts it on goal. And oh, what a chance there. I don't know if it hit the post or was stopped by Labora, but it stays out. Back up St. Mike's. Now goes Jonathan Hampton busting and gets it over to Derek McVeigh. To Hampton. But the power play is done. Smith is back on the ice, but Prestia works it. Over to Ethan Ritchie. Ritchie throws it on goal. He shoots, he scores! Ethan Ritchie puts it through a screen and by Labora. And the Raiders retake the lead, 2-1. And they gather the puck for the youngsters. That's his first junior A goal. Well, what a great play as well. Looked like... Uh... Drops it to Ethan Ritchie. Ritchie takes the shot to Prestia. Back to Ritchie. Over to Tilly, Alec Tilly. Tilly to Ritchie. He fires off a couple of bodies and it goes in! I think Richie's going to get the credit for the second goal of the night off a couple of bodies and in. Power play goal, 3-1 Georgetown. What a pinball effect well, on that that's one. certainly a pinball goal, but uh, Richie's very pleased with that. They yet trying to get their first leads it for Matt McJanet. McJanet works it up ahead for Prestia. Some line switching here right now looks like for Scott McCrory. McJanet's up there with Prestia. Carter McJanet takes a pass, takes a shot, he scores! The big Mac attack, Matt McJanet has some insurance for Georgetown and they're up 4-1. Well, you know what? That was came at a great time. Four to one with 9.13 to go. Just what you talked about, Al. Up ahead, turned over to Jacob Black. Black trying to bust up there for Georgian Black. Gets in, there goes Jacob Black busting in Black. To Nixon, he scores! Oh, what a play there! And the speedy Josh Dish finishes the pass from Jacob Black. 5-1 Raiders. Boy, how, what a quick turnaround from the buzzers threatening at the other end to two quick goals. But these new lines are a little bit uh, better right now for Scott McCrory. They seem you know what's amazing? Bit. The uh, confidence that's been built up. The there's a nice comes. pass there, and there's a goal for St. Mike's. They get one back as Tyler Busillo finishes that nifty feed. As St. Mike's get one back, it's 5-2. Well, just a super saucer pass out there, and I actually think he knocked it out of the air. McVeigh has a chance to clear. Can't. That was shot out by the Raiders. They get it up ahead. McVeigh might have a break. Here comes Derek McVeigh busting, and McVeigh coming in. McVeigh shoots, and he scores! What a wrister there by Derek McVeigh coming in alone. Some more shorts for Georgetown, and it's 6-2. Well, you know, we saw him get a lot of big goals last year, certainly late in the year, and here he is right here. The Raiders win. The Raiders win a big offensive output for Georgetown tonight. 6-2 the final. Six-goal effort. Offense was clicking. Not only the rookies, but the uh, forwards as well. Richie was picked up two big goals tonight. So balanced scoring, balanced attack for the Raiders. Very welcome for them heading into the showcase. So once again, the final score, Georgetown 6, St. Mike's 2.